Good morning kids. Let's learn about an important concept related to electricity that is conductors and insulators. Now we have a fair idea on how electricity works. For this, in our previous class, we had taken the analogy of a bus traveling over a bridge. Let us revise that again. For going to school on the other side of the bridge, the bus picked Aman near his home. At the toll booth, after the payment, the gate opened and the bus was allowed to cross the one-way bridge. Like the flow of the bus on the bridge, the electricity is something that flows in an electric wire. The flow of electric current is in a fixed direction only, like the flow of bus on a one-way bridge. Like the bus's complete path, starting near Aman's home using bridge A, then reaching the school and after school the bus going back to Aman's house using the bridge B. The current also needs a complete path to flow that is coming back to the starting point again. This complete path is called circuit. Also the flow of electric current can be started or stopped using a switch. So the switch acts like a controller of current like the toll booth for the bridge crossing. Continuing with the same analogy, what is used to make bridges or roads for the buses to pass? Can we use bamboo or mud? No. We use cement, concrete, iron etc. So, all kinds of materials cannot be used to make a bridge or road that supports the flow of many heavy vehicles. Same way, what kinds of wire are used to pass electricity? Can we use woolen string in place of electric wire? Or a rubber string? Let us find it out. When we used electric wire in the circuit, the bulb glowed. What if we replace a part of circuit with wool? Will it glow? As we see, it doesn't. Now let us use a rubber string instead of wool. Here again we see the bulb doesn't glow when we replace a part of circuit with the rubber string. So we conclude not all materials allow electric current to pass through it. What is electric wire made of? Let us take an electric wire used at home and remove its plastic covering using a plier. What do we see inside? There is a metallic wire generally copper wire. It is this wire that allows the electric current to flow through it. The materials like metals which allow the electric current to flow through them are called conductors as they can conduct electricity. So a circuit is made of these kind of materials and that is why we use copper or iron or aluminium wire for electric circuits. Do you know why do the electricians wear rubber gloves while working with electric instruments etc? Electricians wear rubber gloves because it doesn't allow electricity to flow through it and he wouldn't get electric shock. So the materials like rubber, plastic, wood etc don't allow electric current to pass through them. These are called non-conductors or also known as insulators as they insulate us against electricity. Now it must be easy to understand why switches, electric plugs and sockets are made of conducting materials. This is to pass electricity through them. Also why the outer coverings of plug, socket, regulators and even electric wires are made of insulators like rubber and plastic. These are the parts which people might touch and the insulator safeguard us from the electric shock. So we see conductors and insulators are equally important for us. Lastly, there is something we should always remember. Electricity can be dangerous too. You must have heard of electric shocks which are very bad and painful too. 
So, while handling an electric equipment or a switch, only touch the parts which are covered with non-conducting materials like plastic, rubber, etc. Not the metal parts. For example, when you are using a charger, do not touch the metal part of it. We shouldn't touch electric appliances with wet hands and always wear rubber gloves or chappals that is any rubber footwear while dealing with electricity. And most important, kids should never try to experiment with the electricity alone as it is dangerous. Whenever required, it should be done under the adult supervision for safety. You must be thinking, why so many precautions are necessary? This is because our body is a conductor of electricity. Electricity can pass through our body and give a shock. That is dangerous for life. Therefore, we should be careful when we handle any electric appliance. That was all about conductors and insulators. Bye bye kids.